This is a Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. I'm your host, Tori Slaughter, and together we dive deeper into God's Word, seeking daily inspiration, guidance, and spiritual growth. Turn with me in the scriptures to Psalm 16. Psalm 16, verses 1 through 11. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, You alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me in the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Lord, we thank you for the reading of your word, Psalm 16 in its entirety. A Reflection of Trust and Assurance Welcome to Bible Study Psalm 16 is attributed to King David, and it is a beautiful expression of trust, assurance, and dependence on God. This profound psalm explores the deep relationship between the psalmist and the Almighty, highlighting the concept of Michtam and echoing verses in other biblical passages. Through its verses, Psalm 16 offers timeless wisdom and serves as an encouragement for believers to place their faith in God's unwavering love and guidance. Let's dive into the meaning of Michtam, which appears as the heading of Psalm 16 in most Bibles. While its precise meaning is uncertain, it's widely believed to indicate a type of musical notation. Some scholars suggest that michtem may denote a golden psalm or a precious song. This classification highlights the exceptional quality and significance of Psalm 16, emphasizing its enduring spiritual value. In verse 3, it says, As for the saints in the land, they are the excellent ones, in whom is all my delight. This verse reveals the psalmist's deep appreciation for God's people and his joy in their presence. The sentiment expressed in this verse echoes throughout the Bible, emphasizing the importance of fellowship and community among believers. In other passages such as Psalm 133 verse 1 and Proverbs 27 17, the unity and mutual support of God's people are praised, reinforcing the significance of spiritual companionship. Rejecting False Gods In verse 4, the psalmist declares, The sorrows shall be multiplied who hasten after another god. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take up their names on my lips. Now this verse serves as a powerful reminder to place one's trust solely in the true God and to reject the allure of idolatry. The sentiment expressed here resonates with other biblical passages that emphasize the futility and consequences of worshiping false gods, such as Exodus 20 verses 3 through 6 and Isaiah 44, 9 through 20. I will have these verses linked in the notes as well as on our website. Verse 8, Confidence in God's Guidance. Psalm 16, 8 states, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Now this verse exemplifies the psalmist's unwavering confidence in God's constant presence and guidance. Similar expressions of trust can be found in other parts of the Bible, such as Psalm 73, 23 through 26, 
where the psalmist acknowledges the Lord's intimate involvement in their life journey. This verse encourages believers to maintain a steadfast focus on God, finding assurance in His unfailing support. Verses 10 and 11, Hope in the Resurrection. In the closing verses of Psalm 16, the psalmist proclaims, For you will not leave my soul in Sheol, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. These verses foreshadow the hope of resurrection and eternal life, pointing to the redemptive work of the Messiah. Acts 2, verses 25 through 28, and Acts 13, 35 through 37, actually quotes these verses, attributing them to Jesus Christ. This affirmation reinforces the fulfillment of these promises, these announcements through the resurrection of Jesus, and underscores the significance of God's salvation plan. Psalm 16 is something we can continue to pray each and every day. It beautifully portrays the psalmist's trust and reliance on God, offering timeless wisdom to us as believers throughout generations. The inclusion of the michtam in the heading indicates the exceptional value of this psalm. I mean, think about it, a golden psalm, a precious psalm. Hmm. So as you, as we meditate on Psalm 16, we are reminded to cultivate trust, assurance, and unwavering faith in our relationship with God, knowing that He is our refuge and source of eternal joy. Amen? Amen. Dear friends, let us pause to hear a word from our sponsor. Attention coffee lovers. Hello, I'm Brian Sells, CEO of the Warriors Collection brand, and I would love to introduce you to the ultimate destination for premium handcrafted coffee that brings joy and purpose to your daily brew. That's why we're excited to offer you an exclusive deal for a limited time. Enjoy a special discount of 15%, 15% off your purchase when you use promo code PURPOSE at checkout. Visit our website at warriorscollectionbrand.com today. Encountering God's Presence in Tough Times by contributing writer LaVonda McCullough. Sometimes you feel your faith is weak if you're like me. Maybe you don't always feel the joy God wants us to have, and that's okay. We can build our faith and find joy in the presence of God through small steps each day. Discovering joy when life is tough is real. But the Bible says that we can find joy in the presence of God even in difficult times. You can trust God's direction and find safety in Him no matter what challenges come your way. So let's celebrate the joy in the presence of God, knowing that He is always with us, guiding us, and supporting us through every moment of our lives. Through His love and grace, we can find joy in all circumstances. I was at peace when I began taking these principles to heart and allowing them to change me. I know it's not always easy to be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, or faithful in prayer. But our lives change when we embody these characteristics. When facing tough times, building your faith and trust in God is essential. Trusting in God doesn't mean that you'll never face difficult situations, but it does mean that He will always be with you. Don't let your faith waver no matter what you're going through. Instead, turn to God and ask Him for help. There are many ways to build your faith in tough times. One way is to spend time with God. Spend time reading the Bible, praying and worshiping Him. Another way is to serve others. What a beautiful reminder of God's love for you and His desire to help those in need. And additionally, find a group of like-minded individuals. Being around others who share your faith can help to strengthen your own beliefs. If you're struggling to trust God, remember that He is always faithful. He loves you and wants what's best for you. 
Don't give up on him. Keep seeking him and his will for your life. Trusting in God is essential to living a satisfying life for him. So don't let it go no matter your challenges. Instead, hold on tight to your faith and trust that God will see you through anything. Encountering God's Presence in Tough Times by Contributing Writer LaVonda McCullough A Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional offers you the perfect chance to initiate a conversation about God's Word. We are deeply grateful to you for sharing this podcast with your friends and family. We thank our many sponsors whose donations help us to provide this valuable content. If you feel led to contribute financially and become part of the Our Given Purpose ministry, please visit OurGivenPurpose.com. Your contribution will help us spread God's message and connect with people all over the world. Remember, you have seeds to sprinkle and don't lose sight of the ones falling on you. Where will they grow? By the road and shallow soil and the thickets? Or will they find a home and good soil to flourish and produce a good work? What God has begun in you, he will complete. Have faith and be bold. You've just listened to A Daily Purpose Bible Study and Devotional, a podcast by Our Given Purpose. Go ahead and share it with a friend right now.